the pain stings in my heart. Every time I walk through the threshold of my own home, it drips from the walls. It accompanies him, follows him, influences his every move. The people he touches shudder. They can sense his selfish intentions. Each time the second hand ticks, he chooses where I go, what I do, who I converse with. He works with diligence. His outward appearance carefully crafted. His lies calculated webs of deception. The day I married him, I bid my dreams adieu. Once I made a promise to be at his side, my life was no longer my own. It's my duty to guard his heart. And all my efforts toward him are loyal. Still, my mind begs for relief with each pen stroke. Make lunch or what? Coming. What are we having? I was gonna make some mac and cheese. What about meat? I wasn't planning on making any. Make some chicken. Okay, okay, I I will bake some chicken. She says she's okay, but I know he's hurting her again. I'm so tired of this. I'm gonna go get her. Wait, Sierra. She's trapped. Even if you went over there and offered to take her with you, she wouldn't want to leave. You can't save her if she doesn't know her worth. The best way to help is to prove to her that she deserves more. How do I do that? I think I know someone who can help. Missionaries ran into me at the store today. I'm sure they'd be happy to help. Great idea. I'll give them a call. there, if you can see what's going on in my life, please help me. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know if, I don't know if you're even there. But I do know that I want to live. right now is not living. Please. Please send some help. God, I want my 
my life back. Jacobson and this is Elder Johnson. Your friend Sierra. I'm sorry, are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, actually, I'm not fine. I've been having a rough time lately. That's actually why I brought them here. She thought you want to hear a message, and with the way you're feeling right now, we think this might be the perfect time. Would you like that? Um, I think so. Uh, excuse me. Uh, would we be able to meet somewhere else? Of course, we can meet outside. It is a nice day out. I'd like that. I wanted to show you guys something. It's my most recent art piece, actually. When you guys taught me that we knew God before we came here, I was one of his daughters. It changed things for me. I used to think of myself as weak, but now there's this light that I never knew could shine so bright. I wanted to thank you all. Ask for your guys' help with a few things. I want to get baptized. Of course, we would love to help with that. But first, I'm going to need a little help moving. We can do that too. Where will you guys be moving? Actually, it's just going to be me moving. I've decided that it's time I do things for myself. I'm going to art school. <laughs> Thank you. Where have you been? I'm starving. Isn't it obvious? I was shopping. You can come in now! Sit down, right now. Sit down little! Sit down! There's three of us. I meant to make sure that there was food in this house that a five-year-old could manage. I'm not even sorry. After everything you put me through, the hitting, the yelling, the insults, the... We're done.
our subject today, as a person's body shape differs, the technique differs, your shape, your base shape will change as your subject changes. Oh, welcome Kylie. Now continue your guys' drawings and I'll come around and check and see how your work is doing. Ha <laughs> ha 